In the Mix is presented by Pika's Cafe Guam, located in the Star Building in Upper Tumon. Eat local, buy local, support local. Hafadeh and happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Welcome to In the Mix. This show is about passion, the passion of our Manumkos who love to dance and tear it up at the Chamorro Village every Wednesday, and the passion of a Dededo resident whose goal is to compete in a bodybuilding competition. It's a reminder that you're able to overcome whatever challenges that you're facing in life as long as you believe in yourself. Jake DeLeon Guerrero was an airport rescue firefighter in Saipan and an EMT for a private company part-time. But his life suddenly changed in 2013 after he was involved in a car accident. Always helping people out, you know? So the day that I was the patient, it was like, wow, like, I saw my boys and it was, uh, it was different to be the one in the stretcher. Wake up in the morning and like, and like, like knowing that you can't move your legs anymore or like what happened, it's always like, it's always, it's gonna hit your heart, you know? You're like, wow, I'm actually awake, like this is reality. So, and it's just, it's always hard. Flown to the Philippines for surgery along with follow-ups at the Guam Regional Medical City, De Leon Guerrero underwent severe depression, lost a lot of weight. But one day he woke up, had enough, and decided to change his life. That was two years ago. I got into the gym because uh, I, just, I just didn't like the way my body was looking, you know? I would realize, that I would uh, notice that I'm not eating well, I'm sad, I've I'm just, I was just really sad. So uh, I just, yeah, I got in the car, drove myself to the gym and and uh, I was like uh, intimidated to go inside because of course, you know, I'm in the wheelchair. I lost a lot of weight, I was shy. But then when I first entered the gym, it wasn't like, uh, it was really good. Like everyone said, oh, thanks for coming. Like come again tomorrow or uh, I'll see you in the morning. And so it, it kept, like allowing me to come the next day and the next day and then I built it like I got friends and then everyone would help me out and also like uh like yeah it really it really helps you Instagram post oh, yeah. and it, it really is so inspiring because you're just the like the perfect example that no matter what uh, adversities you go yeah. through in life what challenges there are you're living uh, proof yeah. uh, an example that you can you can do anything you know and so maybe if you have some inspiring words uh, to people that you'd like to say uh, man, uh the one thing that inspired me like after my accident was uh, my doctor, right? I mean, Dr. Ver. Right after my operation, I've been laying down for maybe almost two months. Right after my operation, he walks in the room and he just like, he stuck, like my bed, he just like brings it up. And I'm like in shock, right? I'm like, holy cow. And he's just like, trust me, trust me. Like, I know what I'm doing. And when I got up, he said, uh, close your eyes. It's like, why am I close my eyes? So I closed my eyes and he was talking to me. Maybe for about like 20 minutes. Then he said, how do you feel? I'm like, what do you mean how I feel? Then when I opened it, he said, you know, Jake, like, I understand you lost your legs, right? But how did you feel closing your eyes? Because some people, they really don't see. So because you can see and like, you should just appreciate it, you know? Because you cannot walk, like, it doesn't mean it's the end of your life. Some people can't hear, can't see. Their disabilities were, it's worse than yours. That you have a brain that's functioning like perfect. You can hear, you can communicate, you can like think freely, you know? So when he said that, I was like, wow, like some people really cannot see, you know? Some people really cannot hear. And these are the things that, yeah, it's just, you know what I mean, right? 
His main motivation, however, has been his wife, Leilani, seven-year-old daughter, Kenani, and five-year-old son, Jake Jr. That's probably like what keeps me going, like even with my kids, like they always say, like, Dad, you going to the gym? You go to the gym already? And they do push-ups, they know what's an air squat or sit-ups, and they're really young, you know? So the fact that they, they're just really cool. Like even, even my, my son and my daughter, like, Dad, for your birthday, I'm gonna buy you protein. With the love and support of his family and now a coach, Jake is hoping to take his workouts to the next level. When I would like work out and I would see like my body change, like it makes me feel better. I'm like, wow, it's actually possible for your body to change, you know? It's not impossible. Whether you want to lose weight or gain gain weight, gain muscle, whatever your goal is, like it's possible. And uh, yeah, so when I started to see my body change, it became like addicting in a way, you know? Like so addicting that now I'm into like wheelchair bodybuilding and I plan to maybe, yeah, hopefully one day I could do a show, right? So is that the goal? Yeah, that's the goal. The goal is to, to, I don't know if there's been like a wheelchair bodybuilder in like the cinema in Guam ever, but hopefully I'm the first, you know? And I want to go on stage like with like a, a really nice package. I don't want to just go on stage like, like a, I want to go on stage when you feel goosebumps and you're like, oh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. You got this, Jake. To his wife, Leilani, and his kids, Jake Jr. and Kenani, Jake wanted me to tell you happy Valentine's Day and that he loves you. Stay tuned. We're back after this.